move on to breaking news on El Chapo. Um, the cartel boss, boss was sentenced today to life in prison without parole, and this comes after a jury found him guilty back in February on all counts of smuggling tons of drugs into the U.S. So Aaron Katursky is outside the courtroom in Brooklyn with more. Um, Aaron, I find it very interesting because um, El Chapo actually spoke before his sentencing today. He did. He did not testify at trial, but it was an extraordinary moment when the judge announced that El Chapo had intended to make a statement. He did not stand, but he sat at the defense table wearing a gray suit and dark tie and through a translator complained about the verdict and complained about the terms of his incarceration, which he called total torture. He said he had no fresh air, no sunlight. Uh, he said he was forced to drink tainted water, and he called the conditions in, in the jail here cruel and inhumane, although he said the guards did treat him nicely. He also took aim at his conviction, which he said came from jurors who violated the judge's orders by consuming media accounts of the trial. That was a report in Vice News. Uh, and even though the judge said it, it really didn't amount to much, uh, Joaquin Guzman said that there was no justice here. And Aaron, um, you know, you were in the courtroom, obviously. Um, what were your other big takeaways from um, witnessing this today? You know, I, I, I was stunned not only at, at Guzman's statement in which he said his case was stained by the conduct of the jurors and, and the defense talked about that, but, but also just how, how ordinary a defendant he looked, far from the mythic figure that uh, he was made out to be over his 30-year criminal career and a wildly successful drug trafficking career, which prosecutors said he made about $12.6 billion. Uh, he really is, is a diminished man, and uh, he was taken into custody after the sentencing hearing with a quick wave to his wife, Emma Coronel Esporo, who was in court, blew her a kiss, it appeared, and then he disappeared. And even El, El Chapo conceded uh, in his brief statement to the court that he would be taken to a prison where he would never be heard from again. All right. Um, thank you. Aaron Katursky right there outside the courtroom in Brooklyn with the details. We appreciate it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.